First things first, okay. <gasps> My brow palette was open and I just slammed this palette on top. Chocolate, are you okay? Auburn, are you guys good? Let's regroup. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Ina. First thing first, let's address the obvious, no, I'm not doing the Jackie Ina song, temporarily, and it's not that I've completely obliterated it. She's not canceled, she's not dead per se. I just think she needs involvement. I just wanna do like maybe a fun new intro. Maybe I turn it into an actual song, a jingle, like where it starts the video every single time because there's only like so many ways I can come up with saying it the same way over and over and over and over, and over, and over again. You feel me? Please, by all means, if you enjoy the Jackie Ina song, indulge away on all of my previous content. But for now, I'm just kind of like, I mean, unless I get something new, high upbeat, then I'm just like not gonna do it. If I don't feel like doing something, one thing about me, I'm not gonna do it. That's one thing about me. There's a lot of things about me, but one thing about me, if I don't feel like doing something, I'm not gonna do it, period, okay. One thing I did feel like doing was talking about Manny MUA's new Lunar Beauty, Hare 2020 launch. So this is the Eternal Eclipse collection for Manny MUA, who I love. Man, let me tell you something, Manny. You fine as hell, that's for sure. Trigger warning, this collection does include an eyeshadow palette. And I feel like we're at a point now in society where most people are just generally kind of tired of eyeshadow palettes. I know it's not just me. It's a lot of use twos because a lot of yous are saying it. Not, I'm not talking about this palette. I know a lot of people are tired of eyeshadow palettes in general because it's like we have so many of them. However, with me, when it comes to eyeshadows, I feel like there's always gonna be brands that like I'm always gonna want what they're launching, regardless of whether it's repetitive or not. Does that make sense? I'm going to have every Pat McGrath palette, period. I'm going to have every Anastasia palette, period, because their quality is superior. I'm going to have every Huda Beauty palette, period. I don't care if it's an eyeshadow palette that I probably already have. I love their formula. I love their color selections. To be honest with you, Lunar Beauty has kind of been doing that for me as well. Like I'm tired of palettes, but I'm not tired of palettes from Lunar Beauty. So in today's video, I'm gonna be testing out and trying out the Eternal Eclipse. I'm not gonna be giving y'all swatches because the girls don't care about swatches. Like, let's just be honest. What y'all gonna do with swatches? How many times do we need to see a blue eyeshadow swatched? A silver, a black. I mean, let me ask the audience. I'm really just going to demonstrate the quality of the products. I'm gonna show you what color combo I'm gonna come up with today. He also sent me two of his lip products from this collection. Let's talk about prices. Do we have prices? So our palette is a 15 shade color palette that retails for 48 Zolas, which is the same sticker price as all of the other palettes that he's launched in Lunar Beauty, which I've actually, side note, I've really been liking the involvement of Lunar Beauty. Like I really feel like Manny has kind of found his brand and has stuck to it. He's been really consistent. The packaging's been bomb. I also really, really like the Moon Prism Blow Palette. Manny, I'm such a huge fan. I know you guys are probably gonna think I'm doing a lot of that. And to be honest with you, I just genuinely like his stuff. Like I think his stuff is really cute. There's a lip gloss, which is 17 Zoolas. And then I have the liquid lipsticks, which is 18 Zoolas. So we're gonna get right into testing and trying out the new Eternal Eclipse palette on today's video. Let's dive right in. This holiday collection also does include a seven piece eye brush set according to the pamphlet. That's the only thing that I don't have and I won't be demoing today. In very much so anti Jackie Ina fashion, I'm gonna start with eyes first. Who is she? Do eyes first? Oh my God, does she work for that? Who does she think she is? Who's this girl? Who is she? Like, I was shocked. I was appalled. I was confused. I was conflicted. I was concerned, but I was intrigued. Really, the eyes are kind of like front and center focus of what we're talking about today. So, duh, it makes sense. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so and join the Jackie Anna family and make sure you hit that bail notifications so that you'll be notified. Hopefully, whenever YouTube feels like actually activating notifications, you'll be notified when I put up new uploads. And we definitely like return visitors. I'm not giving you swatches. I'm gonna go straight into what I feel about the color selection of this palette. I like it. I do find that the middle row, well, the middle row was designed to be all transition shades and that they are. I like the fact that he played with cool and warm tones. I feel like out of all of the palettes that he's launched, so far it's my favorite color selection. And the reason why I say that is because like I can actually use damn near the entire palette. And that's very, very rare. Just by looking at first, just by looking at first glance now. I also like the fact that once again, it's icy, but it's also fiery at the same time. And I feel like that's what the girls need. It's winter, but I don't necessarily just want to wear gray, blue, purple tones, black. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's nice to have some versatility and some options in both. This is a seasonal palette but it's also kind of a year round palette too, because like I said, there's both warm tones, there's golds and bronze. I think he said adamantium was supposed to work like as 
a topper. So there's a lot of really fun, versatile shades that I feel kind of add a lot of depth to the versatility of the palette. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna zoom you right in. And there we go. If you can see my neurons, ignore them. I'm in 4K, give me a break. I really want to play up with the fine, incredible textures in adamantium and meteor, because honestly, I'm not gonna lie, if I wasn't so anti-swatch, I would actually swatch these, but just look how bomb these are. Look at how beautiful, okay, we're doing it, it's happening. Oh, that's so pretty. I actually do listen to you guys and I wanted to take you guys advice and do something different because y'all are always trying to tell me my, all my looks are the same, but okay. Like with the YouTubers that you watch and they be having like 10 million followers, child. So give me a break, damn. Let's put a little bit of eye primer on our lids first. This is actually an eye cream from Tatcha. It's called the Melting Eye Cream. They just recently collabed with Minted and came out with a palette together and they recommended that you can use this as an eye primer. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Sometimes when you use like a colored concealer all on the eyelid, like all over, and you kind of like blank out the eyes first, you can only do that with like particular uh, certain types of eye looks. That's not the eye look that I'm going for on today's look. I just wanted something that was completely transparent and something that was kind of balmy, but wasn't gonna take away the natural color and pigmentation on my actual eyelid, gang, 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 pigmentated skin tones. I haven't decided if I wanna do adamantium first. I feel like I probably should. I'm gonna turn on my lights so you can really see what time, look how beautiful, that's a little bit, this is a little bit more true to color for the palette. Okay, so adamantium is just this really stunning icy silver blue. And then meteor, what's this one called? Meteor. Meteor is a little bit more, I think Manny said this one was like a topper, but it's got like blue, pink, purple in it. So meteor, just using my finger, I'm gonna plop right over. Oh, I wanna drool, I really do. This is so pretty and I actually kinda like this better on my own bare skin. Yeah, 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 she's making points. She's definitely given Saturday Night Fever, disco. This is a banger. Now also notice I am putting the shadow all the way up to my brow and I feel like you can't really do that when you just blank it, excuse me when you just cover the eyelid completely with concealer because it just doesn't look right. It just kind of takes away the depth in the eye and you don't get the same effect. Take Meteor and really go there all over the lid. And because this is such a sort of sheer product, you can kind of do that. Yeah, I know it's lifting, please don't judge. Because this is not like an actual like packed in eyeshadow formula. I'm just talking about Meteor alone. I'm not talking about the other shadows. Meteor, like he said, Manny said that this was kind of like a topper. So it, it does have some, some slight uh, transparency to it. It's coming off a little bit more glittery than it would like a normal shadow. So that's what's kind of allowing us to use it this way. If it had like way more background, like a little bit more base in it, we would not, it would just look like I just slapped shadow all the way on my eyelid. It would be a completely different vibe. Not a bad vibe, just a very different one. So I've patted this in, I've also swiped it in. It really does not have to be perfect. You just wanna apply the color all the way up into your brow so that it looks like this really pretty haze. I'm gonna now start working with a crease color. And I think what I'm gonna do is use Lagoon. Lagoon is a really, this is actually a really hard color to come across, like a matte deep blue like this. I have this dark blue liner from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Super Blue Matte. Very, very original. <laughs> I just playing Charlotte, I live. What I'm gonna do with Super Blue Matte, I'm gonna take super matte blue and just at my lash line, start applying this color and I'm also winging it out on both eyes, of course. And you can make this line a little bit on the thicker side. Oh, this looks so pretty. This looks really, really pretty kind of layered on top of Meteor because the Meteor is really layering beautifully on top of the richness of the blue. Let me make sure my wings or even. And you know what, because we haven't applied our concealer foundation, all that other good stuff, like this is all gonna be perfected at the bottom, so don't worry about it if it's not super clean. If I'm not worried, you should be either. At the end of the day, it washes off, unless you're sleeping in your makeup. which you most certainly should not be. I'm gonna make sure I get really as close to my inner tear duct as possible. I, it's definitely the devil in the details. And I really, really like when a dark liner is drawn in really, really close. I just feel like it looks so romantic and so sultry. 
Now this alone is already really pretty, really effortless. If you like more of my structured eyeshadow looks, this is definitely not the look for you. That's fine, there's a little bit of something for everybody here. Jumping right into Lagoon, that dark, beautiful deep blue color from the palette and a pretty tight, pretty dense blending brush because we really want tight pinpointed application. I'm going to start drawing and deepening my crease with that blue color. Now the goal is to connect our crease to our outer V, so don't be afraid to go right over that liner with the blue as well, because we want to intensify. I'm gonna touch up my lid color because I definitely want more sharpness in this area. We'll come back there. Hold tight, just stay with me please. I'm doing this on the other side and I'm kind of flicking it outward so that it's really kind of giving this cat eye lifted look. Going over that blue liner with that shadow is not only going to intensify the blue, but it's also going to let the particles, the little sparklies kind of mix and blend in there even better. So you're gonna get this even more really, really gorgeous high shine. I actually really like this already. It's dark and it looks a little bit more effortless and I feel like it's definitely gonna come together once I like do the rest of the complexion. I'm gonna take a really fine liner brush, dip it into Ms. Lagoon, and I'm gonna use that to really sharpen, sorry, I can't really talk and do this at the same time. Using that, I'm gonna really sharpen and detail the crease area of my eye. Using an actual brush this time, I'm gonna jump into Meteor because I want a little bit more packed color right at the center most part of my lid. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye and really kind of sculpt out that area. I'm gonna also jump into adamantium, which is the rich deep silver here and add just a little bit of that on top to intensify right up top and right in my inner tear duct area. Now with Meteor, I'm gonna do a little light spray right all over my lid once again. And we're not fully done with the eyes. We have to do the bottom, we have to like fine tune, but I can't do a lot of that stuff until I do foundation, concealer, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna come right back after I finish the rest of my face. Shout out to darkskinmakeupdailyshop.com. I just got this little palm, little palm palette. I just wanted to pause and show you all this because this is a black owned brand and I think this is really cute. I usually put foundation, concealers, whatever, like, you know, I use the back of my hand, like normal citizens do, but they came up with this little palm palette so I can still do that, but like, you know, kind of strap it to my hands so it's like really convenient. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty foundation for today. The Soft Matte Complete for this one. No, just kidding, Hydrating Longwear. Where did I get that name from? Bomb formula. And we really kind of want the skin today to glow because the eyes is beaming. We're definitely giving Disco. We're definitely giving Studio 64. We're definitely giving 21 and older. We're definitely giving a little X-rated. We're definitely giving a little Diana Ross, little, little shimmer, 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 Disco ball. Here goes, here goes, here goes. Oh my God. This is really cute. This is actually my first time using it in a video. I've done the majority of my face. Let's get into the rest of the glam. The Moon Prism Blush Palette was actually one of my favorite Lunar Beauty launches. So I'm gonna use Stargaze and right at the center of my cheeks, start building that color up. This blush palette is nice because it's just enough pigment to really like go there on my complexion, but I don't have to worry about like loading on too much product and scaring myself. And blush is still scary for a lot of people but I am a blush snob. Manny, in fact, I would love to see you give us another banger with the blush palette because I really, really, really do love blush. I love cream blush, I love matte blush. I don't discriminate, well, I do. 
because I don't really like shimmer blush. I'll tolerate it, but I'm not that wild about it. Anyway, y'all not here for the damn blush palette. Let me shut up. I'm gonna take Gravity and I'm gonna use that kind of like as a little bit of a bronzer around the perimeter of my face. I haven't taken off any of the powder because I still want to finish and detail the eyes. Going back to my dark blue liner, I'm going to tight line, get right into the waterline of my eye for intensity. Oh my God, this looks so pretty. Back to our Eternal Eclipse, I'm gonna take Deep Sea. This is actually kind of teal. So let's just see, hopefully it doesn't like make the eye look, I don't wanna go too colorful, I'm trying to go more sultry. I probably should've used Night Sky instead of Deep Sea, but it's fine. I, Let's start with the inner corner if I don't like it. I'll just go darker on the outside. It's definitely giving blue, honey. I'm gonna switch over to Night Sky. It is a blackened, it's got purple, it's got blue. I would like to use that instead because I'm not trying to make this colorful. This is supposed to be, like I said, more sultry. I'm gonna start packing that color on just a little bit along my, can y'all see what I'm doing? Okay, sorry. Just along my bottom lash line. Now I do <laughs> definitely need this smoked out. So I'm taking a little bit of Sandstorm just so that we have like a flesh tone, sort of flesh tone color. Sandstorm, this color here. Just right your right everyday average crease color to use that as a buffer. And hit right up underneath the chair and start smoking and smudging that area out. I also wanna add a little bit of shine down here. So I am gonna take Meteor again as a topper right along my bottom lash line. I'm gonna wing my inner tear ducts with my dark blue liner. So we get a nice sharpened extended when you see that. See how quick and easy that was? Just take my liner, make sure it's nice and sharp and draw downwards. So you get this like really, really pretty extended inner corner wing. Now just to close out this inner area, I don't wanna add like an inner corner highlight. I don't really feel like it'll really mesh with this look. I'm just gonna take adamantium, my sparkly white silver, and just close off. It's really just like an eye shape thing. Like I just have to put something there. Otherwise it just looks like, it just looks like raised skin with nothing on it. And it just looks really obvious. So I'm just gonna add that color right over that little fold in my eye shape. And I'm not doing it like for the purpose of building an inner corner highlight, you know what I mean? Closing off the extra eye space. So before I jump into the lip, I'm just gonna tell you guys my thoughts about the palette because I mean, it's really kind of cut and dry. I feel like haters are gonna say it's favoritism. Haters are gonna say, you theories never tell the truth about YouTuber collabs. Is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence? I ask you, is it a coincidence? Girl, what is there to criticize about this? I already know and love the quality of Lunar Beauty. I trust Manny as a product developer and I already like the brand. Sorry, it's just that we know the comments that are gonna come when we film stuff. So sometimes we try to like answer questions or like address things preemptively, proactively before it comes up in the comments. Um, but I really genuinely like actually do love this palette. I'll even go as far as to say it's his best one yet. It's his best one yet. I think it's his most versatile. I feel like all of the colors are pretty safe colors. These are all shadows and, and color stories that I've known and I've used before. So there's really nothing to criticize. The quality's there, the intensity's there, the pigmentation's there. In the beginning, before I even started filming this video, I was a little hesitant about the middle row because the middle row was supposed to be like all of the transition shades. And I was like, yeah, that ain't gonna work for me. That ain't gonna work for me. But that was what I was looking at, the untrained eye when I was watching Manny's review and sometimes lighting isn't really showing things as accurately as they are like when you see the product in person. And then I saw the product in person, I was like, oh, these aren't as light as I, th I, as I thought they was gonna be. I was a little bamboozled. I definitely feel like there's tons of range here. I mean, I mentioned that earlier and I, I literally demonstrated that by this look alone. I'll definitely be getting some good use out of that palette more than I have all the other ones. I don't even remember if I actually tried Moonspell. I don't remember, y'all, did I review Moon Moonspell? I truly do not remember. I don't remember being like excited about Moonspell. I remember being excited about Life's a Drag and I definitely saw this and I was like, ooh, that's really pretty. You know, a lot of stuff is either really nude, really matte, pink is really safe, golds are really safe, but it was nice to see him kind of like incorporate cooler, ashier tones and just like switch it up, you know, like switch it up. And, and all of the shades were super versatile. I really, really like this palette. I really like this eye look. And I went ahead and added falsies and mascara as well. So as I mentioned earlier, there's two lip products. This is a liquid lipstick in the shade Zaya, which is a relaunch because it was so highly popular last time. And then Aura is a gloss. I'm gonna be using Aura because I really wanna go pink with the rest of the face. Every time I do blue, the rest of the face gotta be pink. The blush gotta be pink. The lips gotta be pink. The draws gotta be pink. I'm playing. Well, 
They might as well, pink is my favorite color. First, I'm going to take this YSO lipstick. It's really light, it's really ashy. I'm gonna just very, be very honest with you, but that's the look that I kind of want. It is, not, girl, I don't know what this is called. Rouge Per Couture. It's literally what it's called, Rouge Per Couture. And I'm gonna go right in the center of my lips. Yes, I know, it's light and it's, oh. It's frosty, I was not expecting that. That's actually not the color that I want, oh my God. This is old school, old school Maybelline, Nude Lust. Don't even know if they still sell this, but I'm gonna go right in the middle. And I wanted something that was really light and something that was going to look ashy. I'll show you in a minute, I'll, I'm, I'm getting there, there's levels to this. Then I'm gonna take Aura Gloss from this launch right on top and really concentrate this color towards the center of my lips. I saw this really pretty girl on YouTube do this. I, I like doing liner first, but she actually goes in with a really light color first. And I was like, girl, where are you going with this? But then she takes Fenty Gloss Bomb and Hot Chocolate. Her name's Victoria, stunning. And she uses that as like a liner. So basically you get like this really pretty gradient 90s lip. And I just thought it was so pretty and I really wanted to recreate it. Oh, that tingles. <laughs> is this plumper? Oh my God, why is it so stingy? Why is it tingly? And that is the final look. Congratulations, Manny Moi. Manny Moi. It's a makeup artist in case you guys don't know. You never know, you never know, okay, I don't judge. Congratulations, Manny, on the Eternal Eclipse collection. It definitely gets a two thumbs up from me, sis. Like, I really, really feel like these launches just keep getting better with time. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. Give it to me now. I would actually buy this collection and I'm actually going to put this palette with my everyday makeup. Like I have like my office makeup collection for like, you know, the looks, the tutorials, the videos, and then I have my personal collection and this is definitely gonna fit right in line with my personal collection. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me on today's video. If you guys wanna see more, which you you should, you, you should and you will, I'm gonna go ahead and link it right here. So I know you ain't going nowhere because we got put on lockdown again. So sit your butt down and watch another video, thank you. Hurry up.